All right, so good afternoon, good evening, and good night, everybody, and welcome to this USWAP workshop. So happy to see all of you here. We are going to have some amazing news announcements and updates on this call. So make sure that you take some notes and make sure that you watch the recording after as well, because you might not get it all at once. Now, we have had a tremendous, tremendous week past us. We've had the most successful IDO offering on the Tron Network ever in history. That was huge. In less than 10 minutes, the entire 100% of the corn tokens was already sold out. Now, the IDO lasted for another two hours. So during those two hours, we still had people coming in that to be able to participate in the IDO. What happens then is that since we um, go above the 100% that we actually needed to raise, uh, those who are participating in the IDO and purchasing IDO tokens using their UME will get a refund of their UME uh, because the amount of the pre-sale tokens, it will be allocated to everyone that participates in the pre-sale. Now, the next IDO pre-sale that we will have, we will, <laughs> we will lower the amount of time on that one as well. Three hours was a lot of time. We got it up to 266%, my friends. Now, so the next IDO, I'm thinking approximately 30 to 60 minutes. Uh, we can see that the demand for these, for new tokens, for new IDOs, for, for IDO offerings are huge. There's a massive demand for this on the Tron network. And now that we're finally starting to rolling out IDOs and the offerings and the pre-sales, people are flocking to them. We can see the community increase day by day as we are launching, as new tokens, new projects are coming on. So I'm very, very happy and pleased with the IDO we had on Thursday, 266%. As we know now, what we're waiting for is the launch of the corn token itself. The launch of corn token will be on Monday at 3 p.m. CET. Uh, at that time, the liquidity and swap pool will open up, as well as the farming pools where you can provide liquidity to TRX corn and you can farm corn uh, through uh, liquidity providing, et cetera, et cetera. But we also have a different way of accumulating or farming the corn token. And that is a little bit of what I want to talk to you guys today, because as you know, we have been developing some DeFi games that are integrated to the Uswap platform. For example, the chicken coop, where you actually purchase a chicken, the chicken will lay eggs, which is actually you and me. You can use those eggs to actually catch other tokens in our ecosystem. And we're now about to complete the first cycle uh, of the Uswap farmland ecosystem. And this is what we're going to have a look at right now. So let me just share the screen here, uh, and we will have a look at what corn actually is all about. Now, before we go into that, let me also just, sorry, there, uh, two sets, sorry. Let me also just uh, emphasize that we just had a new burn uh, of UME. So for each IDO that is conducted on the USOL platform, 50% of the UME raised is going to be provi provided as locked liquidity, while 50% is being burned. So as the third IDO has now been conducted, 50%, which means 50,000 UME has been burned. The transaction ID is out there. The total amount of UME burned is now up to 140,000. Now the UME token has huge potential, buy more UME today, that's what it says. And the reason why we say this is because as we now deploy more and more IDOs, as more third parties are coming in, which we have stacked up already, more UME will be burned. There is 23 million in total, but only 2.7 million has been farmed so far meaning that there's still 20.3 million you need to be farmed. Now, the circulating supply, I would imagine will never surpass 3 million. It will never surpass 3 million, even though there's 20 million left to farm. Why? Because of the IDOs, because of the, the, the offerings and because of burning UME. The ideal goal is to have a deflationary model where we conduct enough IDOs so that we burn more UME monthly than what we farm through the farming pools. And that, my friends, is when, or that is why we will say to you that UME has huge potential. The price that you see on UME today, I doubt that you will ever see that again as we start rolling out these IDOs and, and the rest of the ecosystem. So we burn 50,000 uh, UME today. We can see that here. We have the con burning contract. We have the transaction ID. So anybody who wants to check that out can do so. And as we said, also the, the official launch and listing of the corn token goes live August 23, 3 p.m. CET at USWAPDEX listing price will be approximately three TRX. It will be the equivalent value to what 0.1 UME is at the day of launch. Currently today, that is three TRX. So approximate price or listing price is three TRX. So you want to fill your bags with corn, you want to provide liquidity and you want to farm poor, uh, corn and you want to play the corn game to earn more corn. And that is what we're going to have a look at right now. So as you can see right up here, you can see a, uh, a corn, a corn <laughs> setting. So I'm going to show you guys the game itself. Uh, this is not available on Uswap yet. This is a test 
uh, test site, test run. Uh, and as you can see, I can buy my acre for one tron. Uh, I have 9,900 corn in my wallet, but this is uh, a test token. So it is not anything that is already on the market. Now, uh, of course, the corn field, when you go into the game, what happens, or, or how can I explain this? So the corn game, just as the chicken, you and me chicken coop, is a game where we simplify the entry into decentralized finance. Because not everyone understands liquidity providing, staking, impermanent loss, farming, yield farming, all these kind of words and LP tokens here or unstaking there, you know, it's kind of difficult. And when something's difficult for someone, they kind of tend to let it be. They don't want to participate. So we actually made farming as simple as possible. Participating in DeFi through Uswap is as simple as one, two, three. Here's the thing. Instead of you providing liquidity with two types of assets, uh, getting LP tokens, staking those LP tokens, you don't need to go through all that just to get started. What you need to do is that you only need to buy an acre of field or an acre of a corn field, and you can purchase a few corn, and then you can actually plant corn, and then you will start to grow corn. That is, so when I'm providing liquidity, I'm providing liquidity with two types of asset, TRX and corn, and I'm now providing my LP tokens in so that I can farm corn. What do I do in the game? I buy an acre for TRX, and I put some corn on the acre. That means I'm providing two types of assets, and now my corn field will start to grow me corn. Now, as we can see, one corn field will grow you 100 corn. Uh, it will grow you 10 corn a day. Uh, the numbers in here are going to be adjusted. I said, this is just a test site, but the corn field will grow you 10 corn a day for 20 days. That means that you will accumulate 200 corn from one acre and you're planting 30 corn to grow those 200. That means 170 corn profit in 20 days. Now you can purchase more acres you can purchase up to a 100 acres and you can plant corn on all of them and you can farm corn that way. You can harvest. As you can see, I have planted, I bought one acre. I planted 30 corn on this, which means that I can, uh, on this game, I can earn 100 corn. I've already received 26.31 corn. And if I want to harvest that corn, I will just click on the harvest button. I'll actually do this, even though it's through a game, that corn token will actually go to my wallet, but it's not the corn token. Now, then you have the corn swap directly on the interface. If you want to swap corn to TRX or TRX to corn, you can do so instantly right here in the corn or the popcorn game. You do not need to go to the exchange itself. A lot of people will go to the exchange, of course, that is where we usually do the trading. But in the UME pop, uh, or in the popcorn, corn popcorn game, you can actually do the swap directly on this interface as well. When you do the swap right here, it would be the same thing as if you were doing the swap directly on the exchange. It is integrating with the same liquidity pool, so to say. And then we also have the popcorn production. Now, this is a popcorn making machine. It is very useful if you have a lot of unsold corn in your warehouse. Now, the thing is, we're trying to simplify it by making it easy to relate to real life services. For example, what do you do with corn? Well, you can you, you grill them, but most often you use corn to, for example, at a carnival or a Tivoli or anything like that, you generate popcorn and you sell that popcorn to the customers and the clients on the carnival and, and Tivoli. So this popcorn making machine it will be very useful if you have a lot of unsold or unused corn. So if you're farming a lot of corn, uh, you're not, you don't have any chickens, you don't need corn to feed chickens, but you just, you're harvesting corn and corn and corn. The thing is, you can now put that into the popcorn machine. So from time to time, there will be a demand for popcorn on the market. And with this machine, you can make popcorn out of your corn and earn USDT. The process is very simple. As soon as you put the corn in the machine and start the production, from that point on, you will start to earn USDT. That, my friends, is amazing. Right now, as you can see, there is no demand for popcorn on the market currently. But uh, let me just quickly bring up the, uh, let me see here. Just want to show you how it looks. Uh, I need the links. I don't need the Figma popcorn file. This is so. So we have the popcorn. I just want to show you guys how it all looks, and we're going to go through it. So you purchase an acre of uh, acre of land. You sow some corn onto it. You start harvesting corn. That is what it will do. It, it will start producing corn for you. Now, what can you do with that corn? Well, if you have a lot of it, and from time to time, as said, this, let me just get to the popcorn machine here now. So as you can see here, now popcorn production, not available. Uh, popcorn production soon, it's coming up. Popcorn production soon in there as well. Let me see where we can we find the, when the popcorn machine is open, there we go. So here is the popcorn machine. There is now a demand for popcorn on the market. 
and we can see how much USDT is actually put in to the popcorn machine as well. If that's 10,000, 25,000, 100,000, you know what that will depend on? That will depend on how many chickens are bought, how many lands are, uh, acres are bought, and how many popcorn machines are bought. Because the revenue coming in from that will be going into the popcorn machine, and those who hold the excessive amount of corn will be able to farm that USDT straight up. Now, what is important to know is that when you put popcorn or when you put corn into the popcorn machine, that will burn your popcorn, your corn. You will not receive your corn back. That is also very logical. It is mimicking a real life service. When you make popcorn, that corn you have turns into the popcorn and you don't have the corn anymore. You sell it and you get USDT for it. Uh, so there are two ways where corn is actually going to have a deflationary model. Uh, here we have another one. So popcorn machine, 1000 TRX. Uh, popcorn machine, demand for popcorn will soon appear on the market. You will see a countdown. You can then buy the popcorn machine and then you will start the popcorn production itself. Uh, popcorn production in work, 406 corn profit, nine USDT per 24 hours. Remember, these are the test site numbers. These are not the real numbers that will come in. They will always differ because for one time it will have maybe a higher amount, the next time a higher, next time a lower. It all depends on, as said, the amount of chickens and the amount of lands bought. So the more people that are playing the games, the DeFi games in the Uswap ecosystem, the more revenue will be shared in the popcorn machine. Uh, let me see here. What do we have? This is kind of cool as well. We were looking at, you know, some different. So we have a popcorn production. On this one, you can see the popcorn machine. You have the corn. You have the popcorn. On this one, you have a movie theater. You have a lot of popcorn. You know, I, this is where we where people sell popcorn. And we want to make sure that people can understand and have a good feeling that, man, I, okay, I, I bought an acre of land and I sold some corn. I'm now I'm growing corn. I got a ton of corn. Oh, dang, it, 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 there's a demand for popcorn. I'm going to use some popcorn and then I'm actually going to get free USDT for that. That's insane. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of fun playing this game. I'm really, really looking forward to Tuesday. Uh, that is the day Tuesday, 3 p.m. CET, the, popcorn, the corn popcorn game will go live. On Monday, the corn token will launch, the listing, the liquidity pool will, will launch, the farming pools will launch, but the game itself will launch on Tuesday. So on Tuesday, you can start buying uh, the acres, you can start planting the corn that you have, and you can start harvesting and, and growing corn out of your mind. Now, uh, we talked now, talk now a little bit about the corn game. Now let's talk about how this corn game completes the first cycle of the Uswap farmland. Now, as we also know, we have the chicken coop game. So the chicken coop game is, sorry, chicken coop game works approximately the same way as the corn game. It is a, an easier way for anyone, for all users to enter the DeFi space, to learn, to get information, to get educated. And from there on, they can take the step into liquidity providing, LP tokens, you know, all that kind of stuff, which takes a little bit of time to learn. Now, if you want to farm UME, you need to provide liquidity with two types of assets, and then you will farm UME. That UME, you can utilize in multiple different ways. You can use them in the IDOs. You can swap them for other tokens that we have. So there's, there's, a, there's a lot of use cases for it. Now, if you do not know about DeFi, if you do not know about liquidity providing, if you don't want to learn about it, the chicken coop in the corn game is the game for you because you will buy a chicken for a thousand TRX, and then you will feed the chicken. It was currently being fed with TRX as well. And when you bought a chicken, one chicken will lay you one egg a day. One egg equals to one UME. So as you can see here, my egg, I, my hands, I have 58 of them. They have laid 168.18 eggs since I was last in there. That is 168.18 UME. If I claim right now, I will receive 168 UME into my wallet and I can do whatever I want with them. But that's not the whole point. What we want to show, what we want to teach you guys is that by only having or use it, utilizing one of our assets, you can actually accumulate three, four, maybe even five and six different assets without spending anything. You're actually just utilizing what you have, farming and growing the uh, growing what you have and utilizing that again to multiply it. So have a look at this. Instead of me claiming the UME eggs into the UME and then whatever I want to do that, if I want to provide liquidity to farm more, if I want to sell to take profit, if I want to use it for IDO, instead of doing that, what I did is that I bought a trap for Lori. We have a token called Lori, which is an NFT raffle token. Total supply is 2 million. And the thing is, Lori is very, very fond of eggs. So you can actually use the eggs that is laid by the hen and buy yourself a trap for Lori, put the uh, so, let me see here. eggs in trap. I got 910 eggs in the trap, which equals to 910 UME whenever I want to claim that or remove and claim. 
but those 910 eggs has caught me 410 lorries. So by purchasing that, that chicken and feeding that chicken so it continues to lay eggs, I am catching lorries for free. That, my friends, is DeFi on the next level. This is actually DeFi. This is liquidity providing. This is staking, farming, using LP tokens uh, to multiply your revenue streams. You earn one token and you take that token and you use that to earn the third one. And you take the third one, put it with the first one and you earn the fourth one. There is a system behind the whole thing here now. Okay, so you purchase a chicken, uh, you will have eggs. That is you and me. So you're now farming you and me. You're purchasing the trap for Lori, you're catching Lori. You're now farming Lori. Now, with the new corn game, you can buy yourself a land of, uh, you can buy yourself uh, an uh, acre and then you can sow some corn on it and then you will start to grow corn. Now, here's the cool thing. Within the next seven to 10 days, the chicken will now no longer be fed with TRX. The chicken will be fed with corn and it can only be fed with corn. So anyone that's playing the chicken coop game, anyone who purchased a chicken, anyone who has chickens laying eggs for them, they will need corn. They will need to have corn so that they can feed their chicken on a daily basis so it continues to lay eggs. So here now we have the first use case for the corn token. Before it's even launched, we have a use case for it. You're feeding your chicken with the corn because this is real life, you know, we're mimicking real life uh, scenarios here. So to feed your chicken, you buy an acre of corn, you sow some corn, and then you will actually produce corn on a daily basis. You can use that corn to feed your chicken rather than using Tron to feed the chicken. That chicken will now continue to lay eggs. And now the more eggs you have, you can use those eggs to catch lorry. Now, here's the cool thing. We are building a game or a hunting ground for lorry. Lorry, as the hungry, the sneaky sloth it is, you know, it's looking for food everywhere. It's been trying to catch the eggs, but it's getting caught itself. So we're going to build a hunting ground for lorry where you can release your lorry tokens and they will catch corn for you. Get that? If you have lorry and you put them in the, put them onto the hunting ground, they will go and gather corn for you. They're hungry. <laughs> they're hungry. Slots and slots. So what do we see here? We see, okay, we, we have the corn game. We have the corn token. We have you and me. We have lorry. Now, if you purchase with TRX, the chicken, which lays the UME eggs, you can catch lorries. And with those lorries, you can catch corn. And with those corn, you can feed your chicken. And then you can buy an acre of corn or an acre, uh, acre where you can actually plant corn and, and harvest it. And you can use that to feed the chicken as well. And any excessive corn you have, well, you can use that to create popcorn and farm USDT. So here you have a cycle where you grow corn to feed your chickens that lays eggs, that catches lorries, and lorry catches the corn again. That, my friends, is a complete cycle of DeFi games. It is actually possible for you to start out with simply the game of corn. And you can now build yourself up to accumulate all of these tokens. Let's say that you buy an acre of corn and a few corn so that you can plant it, of course. Now you are going to have 200 corn over the next 20 days. Let's say that you don't have TRX. You don't have anything. You only have enough to buy one acre of corn and 30 corn so you can sow. Well, at the end of that, those 20 days, you will have 200 corn. I don't know what the price of corn will be. That will be determined once we launch, but sell off some corn for TRX, purchase your first chicken. Now you have a chicken that you can feed with the corn you're growing on your acre. And now you're starting to farm eggs, the UME token. Now, as you're farming UME token, well, you put them into the lorry trap. And with that, you're now starting to catch lorry. And again, with the lorries, you put them on a hunting ground and you'll catch more corn. Now you have more corn to feed your chickens, more corn to put in the popcorn machine, or more corn to sell if that's what you want. Guys, this is DeFi on next level. This is a brand new era of game fi. That is games in the DeFi era. You know, I'm really, really proud and I'm really, really happy and I'm really, really excited to be to be able to offer this to, to the world. I mean, we have, we are the only one that has something as unique as this. There is no one on any platform or any network that is doing the same thing in the DeFi space. No one. We're the first of its kind. And I can guarantee you that this is what will make not just Uswap, but also the Tron blockchain to be the aw what awoken sleeping giant. Uh, we have so much coming. So guys, I hope you liked it. I hope you guys understand uh, what we're trying to do here. Uh, and also just to mention this, guys, uh, in order for you guys to know, be even more motivated to, to share this to share Uswap, to share the games, to share how 
use new users and new investors can come in, utilize DeFi in a simple, easy way while and learn while they earn, you will actually earn on it as well. There will be a 5% referral reward on all acres sold. Now, the price of an acre will be 500 Tron. Now, for every person that you invite to use one, and they buy one acre or five acres or 100 acres of corn, you will receive 5% of the TRX that they use to purchase that the corn with. And as we write, uh, rewrite the chicken coop contract so that the chickens can be fed with corn, we're also going to rewrite so that the, uh, the cost of the chicken can be adjusted accordingly as the, market, the price goes up and down of different tokens. So the price of the chicken uh, in seven to 10 days, <coughs> apologies, <coughs> apologies, I'm recovering from a little cold here. Uh, the price of the chicken will also be reduced and set at 500 tron. And guys, you want to just share this with as many people as possible. Share it with one. That one person might buy 100 chickens because he wants to maximize this game. He wants to maximize the profits of eggs, of lorries, of corns, of everything. You might have 100 people who has 10 chickens each. You have, and they start buying corn. They start going into the IDOs. They start farming. If you invite them and they use your referral link to just connect with Uswap, they are your referral forever, and you will always receive something as long as you are a part of that same feature or service. So a 5% ref reward on all acres sold, a 5% ref reward on all chickens sold, and of course, as more games come in, there will be, of course, ref rewards on all of those as well. We want to do this because we want to make sure that those who take the time to share, those who take the time to teach and educate, they are also rewarded for that, not only by the high profits and the high income that these games are generating for you, but also by the referral reward. So yeah, guys, that is the corn game itself. Uh, and a little bit, you know, uh, the workshop uh, trying, to, trying to have a better, bigger understanding of where we are today, what we're building, how it's all connected and how it will drive traffic and demand towards each other. For example, take the corn, the corn token. It has 4 million total supply. 1 million was sold in pre-sale, uh, 2.7 or 2.8 million will be in the farming pools. Now, people will need to have corn because they will need corn to feed their chickens. There's a ton of chickens on the market. Uh, that means there's a ton of corn that will be needed to feed the chickens with. Now, when you use corn to feed a chicken, about 20% of that corn will be burned, while 80% will go back to the farming pools so that the farming will be able to continue for a longer period. And the same thing goes with the corn you put in the popcorn machine. 20% of the corn gold that goes into to the popcorn machine will be burned, while the remaining 80% goes back to the farming pool so that you can continue to farm corn for a longer period of time. So what happens? Well, the more people that are playing the DeFi games, the more people that are making income and profit and generating revenue through the chicken coop and the corn game, the more corn will be burned. Those, those 4 million will not be 4 million for a long time. And as the corn uh, decreases in its total supply, the availability of corn will be less and people will still need the corn. The demand for corn will still continue to grow because more people are coming in to buy chickens. More people are coming in to grow corn. More people are using them. So the more people that are utilizing our games to profit, the more, what can we say, the brighter future we will see for each and one of these tokens. Corn, Lori, UME, EFT, Lume, they all have a purpose in our ecosystem. It's just that everything cannot be built and deployed at once. But now you can see we have, you know, in nine months, we have come a long way. I am very, very proud. And I want to just, before we go drop off, I want to say thank you to each and every one of you guys who have been here, who have stood strong and supported the Uswap ecosystem as it has grown. You guys have been the earliest adopters ever. We have had people that have been here since November 9th, the same day that we launched the Uswap Dex and the UME farming. That might is That means so much to us. And it just shows how strong our community is. And if we just lock arms, as I always say, if we lock arms, if we go united and correlated in the vision and mission that we have, there is absolutely no reason why we won't succeed. All we need and all I ask for is a little bit of time. That is everything that's needed. A little bit of time and a little bit of promotion, of course. And the best promotion ever is, of course, word of mouth. If you enjoy the chicken game, if you like the, the, the corn popcorn game that you see now that are coming up, make sure to share that with your friends, with your family, with your network. Bring them in, show them Uswap, show them how they can generate multiple income streams. And I can guarantee you that Uswap will be a household name and among the biggest and baddest DEXs on the entire network. All right, guys, with that, we are going to drop off. We're going to have a quick Q&A. If you have any questions on the corn game or on the chicken game or anything else that we have been discussing on this call, let me know right now, and I will reply to them. Let me see here. 
Uh, for example, corn price is three TRX. Uh, and then corn field costs 500 TRX, 30 corn, corn costs 90 TRX, total cost of field 590 TRX. In the return, we will get 200 corn, 200 times three, three, 600 TRX, profit is 10 TRX. And we have included transaction fees. How will it be beneficial? Manpreet, Manpreet, Manpreet. Okay, so the launching and the listing price of the corn token on Monday will be three TRX. I can tell you that 10 minutes after, the corn token will be approximately 40 TRX, 50, 60, 100 TRX. Why? Because uh, on a DEX, when you're listing with liquidity, there is something called the price impact. You don't have an order book. There's, I am not deciding that I want to sell my UME at uh, 5.2 when its actual price is 4.1 or less if it's higher. It follows the, uh, uh, what was it? It follows an algorithm for decentralized exchanges. So corn token is launched, three TRX for one corn. You buy 10 corn, guess what? Next price will be 3.3 .3 TRX per corn. You buy 100 corn, guess what? Next price will be five TRX per corn. So this is why the corn game is not going to go live on Monday, but rather Tuesday, because Monday will be a day of volatility. <laughs> Monday will be a day of highs and lows and highs and lows and moaning and happiness and crying and you know tears of joy, tears of sadness, because you know, I, I'm telling you, that's just the way it is, you know, because it will launch. People will, will jump on, they want to buy the corn token, they want to accumulate those corn so that they can sow corn, so that they can feed the chicken, that they can grow corn and all that. And guess what? The price will go up. Let's say the price goes from three to 30. Well, let's say it goes to 100. Don't you think that a few of those who manage to buy at three, five, 10, or 20 will sell off a little bit at 100? Of course they will, and that will drop the value. And that will give a new opportunity for those who didn't get to buy at a lower stage to buy at a lower stage and push it back up again. <coughs> So you, you cannot do a calculation that you just did here, Man, uh, Manpreet. It is impossible to do because we don't know the value of corn on Tuesday, but I can guarantee you that it will not be three TRX. Uh, let me see here. All right, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stop that video. Thank you for, for uh, notifying me on that, Simon. Uh, I stopped the video, so that will be off. Uh, okay. Do we withdraw harvest the corn to our wallet before we feed the chicken? Yes, yes, we do. So uh, the corn that you have, you harvest that, uh, and then you can use that because you need to have that in the wallet in order to feed the chicken. Uh, we have not, we did not connect the game in that way. So you harvest the corn, you bring that out. Also, the same goes for the popcorn machine. You can harvest your corn. You have the corn in your wallet, and when the popcorn machine opens, you can put the corn into the popcorn machine, so to say. So you can harvest that corn on a daily basis if you want to do that or whenever you need it to feed the chickens or whatever you, whatever you want it for. Manpreet, uh, I'm not even actually going to read what, you're, what you wrote, but that is totally incor incorrect. Uh, let me just go and check that here. Uh, let me see here. I'm going to have some fun here. Uh, let me see here. seconds here. All right, so let me, I will read your question and let's just make things clear. So you're saying I calculated with three TRX only because all of our tokens are trading below its listing price. I got to correct you on that one because no, not one of our tokens is trading below listing price. Maybe, maybe the Lume token because the Lume community doesn't have any patience uh, waiting for us to actually give out a game that they can actually utilize them for. But let me share the screen and let's go through some statistics because I do not like when people say something that is not true. Lori, Lori, listing, uh, Lori IDO and listing price, 0.1 UME. If you want to buy one lorry today, it's 0 0.12 UME, which means the price is more than what it was when it got listed. Let's have a look at Lume. Lume has dropped in value. It is about 50% less. That is true. That is right now selling for less than the listing price. Why people are selling, I have no idea. I can only imagine it is because they do not have the patience uh, and they do not see what we're doing and what we're actually developing in the background. Let's have a look at... Uh, okay, so we got Lume, we got Lori. Let's have a look at, where are they? 
Why am I not? Ah, okay, okay. So, okay. And you, uh, you and me was launched at that day, November 9th. It was launched at approximately 10, TR, uh, 10 Tron, 10 TRX. Uh, and at that time, 10 TRX was no more than, I think it was, hold on, let me see here. Uh, so it was 10 TRX and one TRX was probably valid at 0 0.05, 0 0.06, 0 point, something like that. It was back in November 20, uh, 2020, uh, which means that it was actually 0 0.02 or something like that. Now today, you're still getting UME. One UME is valid at 30 TRX. If you're just calculating in a TRX, that's three times the listing price. Now, if you also calculate the dollar value, it's a lot more. Now let's take a look at uh, EFT. So EFT was also launched, but it was launched at, oh, there's something wrong here. I think it's my network, but it's a little bit, oh, I don't have, yeah, it's unstable. There we go. So now EFT was launched at, what was it? 400, right? 400 Tron. Yeah. EFT was launched at 400 TRX. And is currently today trading at 1,451 TRX. And considering that the value of TRX has increased by two to three times, you cannot say that any of our tokens is trading below listing price. This actually triggered, triggered me a little bit because all of our tokens and everyone that has bought into an IDO or has or is in profit. If you're claiming Lori today and selling it today, you're still making money. You're still making more UME than what you used to purchase them with. So please do not come and say that all of our tokens are trading below listing price because that was the most ridiculous statement ever. It seems to me that people uh, or some are not considering the price difference when TRX goes up, when TRX goes down, when UME goes up, when UME goes down, and all of that and how this works together. And <coughs> apologies. Uh, I can't really do much more than try to educate you guys and show you and teach you how you actually need to look upon these things. You cannot look at, if I, if TRX was 0 0.025 in November 9th and it's 0 0.1 today, that means that the price has increased with four times. That means that the listing of you and me in, in TRX was actually then instead of 0.5, it was $2. But then again, it also means that the, the price now is also four times higher but since you has gone down, you it feels like it's it's going down. It's less, but it's not. All of our tokens, except Lume, unfortunately, currently is trading above the listing price, and it will continue to do so. Uh, who, okay, so I'm going to remove the person who is uh, showcasing something from his mobile phone. Uh, I don't know why he's doing that. And Mr. Sukuru is now gone. Uh, we don't need to have people trying <laughs> to showcase and sell things. On our zooms. So yeah, again, uh, Manfred, uh, that is not the correct way to calculate. Uh, it is a not correct statement by you, uh, which is why I took this time to actually go through it because I think it's important that people actually understand this. Um, oh, sir, yeah, 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 that's true, Manfred. You and me listening was 40 TRX, but guess what? 40 TRX at that time, what was that worth? 40 TRX at 40 TRX at that time was worth, I, probably, I think it was 1.1 or 1.2 dollars. Well, 30 TRX today is worth how much? $3. So even if you cannot, that, that's the thing. That's where people are making so huge, huge mistakes mentally. And that drives them crazy. Because right now you are thinking that, shit, I bought my UME for 40 TRX. And it's now only worth 30 TRX. I'm in loss. Well, guess what? You would have been in a loss if you used your TRX to buy Bitcoin, to buy Ethereum, to buy any other token out there. Guess what? Because TRX has increased in value. Those 40 TRX that it was launched, that you and me was launched on was worth $1. The 30 TRX it's worth today is worth $3. Do you see the difference? You cannot calculate if you buy something with Tron at a certain value. You cannot look nine months ahead at the value now and say, I made a loss because I bought at that time. Do you think that the, the, the pizza guy who bought Bitcoin or bought pizza for 10,000 Bitcoin, do you really think that in his head, he bought, bit, he bought a pizza for $400 million? No, because it wasn't worth $400 million at that time. It was worth $40.
That's a big difference. Yes, he's cracking his skull every single day for doing it, but he's not, he's not mentally thinking that he paid 400 million for that pizza because he didn't. He paid $40 for the pizza. So you guys need to, you guys need to re reverse engineer the way that you are looking on crypto, the way that you're looking on prices, the way that you're looking on uptrends and downtrends. And you got to make sure that you're actually reading charts the proper way or the, the value charts the proper way. Because even if UME is 30 TRX today and it was 40 TRX at launch, UME is still worth more today than what it was at launch. The same goes for every other token as well. I hope you guys had some good insight on this. Uh, uh, it was a good question, absolutely. But we will go over to more proper questions for this going into the corn game. Now, after buying an acre, how many corn do I need to uh, to provide uh, per acre, please? Sorry, I missed that point. All right, Andrew. So you need 30 corn per acre. So if you buy one acre, you need to plant 30 corn. And over the next uh, 20 days, you will receive 200 corn, 10 corn a day. So it will take you three days to receive back those 30 corn. And from that on, the next 17 days, it's just pure profits of corn. Uh, uh, let me see here. Yeah, yeah, that's right, Andrew. So the perfect message here from Andrew. How many times do we have to tell them to measure our tokens in USDT? You cannot measure it towards a, another token that fluctuates up and down in value. Because if, oh, all right, let's say you and me stand still on, on three right now and TRX is increasing in value. You are looking at this as UME is decreasing in value. Well, it's not. Yes, it's worth less in TRX, but it has the same freaking dollar value. Stop calculating in tokens and start calculating in USDT if you're looking to find ROI or, or, or revenue or profit or you're trying to calculate something. You cannot calculate in the token values because they differ every single day. Those calculations that you've done now, I would love to see you do those same calculations in six months when UME is above $25. And let me see how, how you think the profit is at that time, because I can guarantee you that TRX will be hovering around 0 0.1, 0 0.1.5, or 0 .1, 0 0.15. Well, you and me will be hovering around 25. Mark my words, it will come there. <laughs> Hi, Andreas. This is Luis Rodriguez from the Dominican Republic. Always a pleasure to talk with you. Now, I was wondering if in the future, if there could be a single you and me pool that rewards us with other coins, like the zero pools on PancakeSwap. So absolutely, that's a really, really good question, Luis. Now, we did start out small with this um, with this uh, way forward, so to say. As you know, remember when we listed safe money and just money, we had a solo UME staking pool where you could actually farm safe money and just money. Uh, but then we have come to the conclusion that launching tokens or token projects that are already live, that is already minted, that is already you know on the market, that is not the ideal thing for you swap uh, and most of the there's a few reasons for that and i will not go into that now because you know time is flying time is flying <laughs> and we're closing in on one hour but we are so we are in a position right now where we have recently launched uh, the first nft marketplace on the tron network we're trying to build traffic we're trying to draw customers users a client base from ethereum and from binance to come to tron that takes efforts. We just launched the IDO platform and we've had three IDOs and we are now starting to take on third party requests uh, where we will try to have an IDO every week or every second week, depending on the, uh, the amount of time that we actually have to work with this. This takes time and this takes effort. Uh, we're upgrading the NFT marketplace currently as we speak as well. Uh, this will happen next week, uh, both on the offering side of the contract and the contract creation so that royalty will be existing so that you can withdraw a bid so that if you get outbid, the, the bid goes automatically back to your wallet. These things takes time. We've developed the chicken coop game and the corn game and the, uh, <laughs> the tokenomics around that. All of this takes a lot of time. It is not, it's not that I wake up in the, you know, in the middle of the night and say, dang, corn token, let's do that. Let them farm, we can do so. Oh yeah, that would be cool. No, I'm sorry. I wish it was, but you know, we've been working on this corn game for weeks and weeks and uh, you know, close to months, you know, the directly or more or less immediately after we launched the chicken coop, we started developing the corn token and tokenomics within that. It all takes time, it takes execution, it takes strategic execution. So uh, as we move forward, we will have, of course, more tokens in our ecosystem, uh, and we will eventually, not now, not in the next three months, but maybe within six to 12 months, we will launch something called or something similar 
to the, what was it Tron had? They had some um, uh, Genesis mining or something like that, where you were staking Tron and USDT and you were farming WIN, JST, USDJ, their ecosystem tokens. Trust me, we will do something similar where if you stake TRX and you and UME, you'll be farming, maybe Lori, you'll be farming Lori, Lume, Corn, eggs, whatever other tokens we have coming up. So that we will have something called, uh, let's say a millennium farming pool or something like a millennium farming, where you can actually participate and farm every single token that we have. Uh, there is a lot coming, my friends. Just make sure that you are aware we're only nine months in. We're only nine months in, but we have managed to develop, deploy with success more projects than I don't want to mention names, but there are projects that have been out there for two years, three years, four years, that doesn't even come close to what we already have. Yes, the price of the tokens may not reflect as high and as big as you guys want them to do, but things does not happen overnight. The Great Wall of China was not built in a day or two. It took hundreds of years, but that Great Wall of China still stands today thousands and thousands of years and wars later. That is how we're building Uswap and our ecosystem. This ecosystem will be here long, long, long after we are all gone. Trust me on that. All right, let's see here if we are able to do some others. Let me see here. So we should be able to buy chicken and cornfield with USDT. No. Uh, you buy the chicken with Tron, you buy the cornfield with Tron, you feed the chicken with corn, and you sow the cornfield with corn. And with the corn, you can farm USDT. I think that the main attraction on, oh yeah, okay, so that was just actually a, a continuous message on this, uh, the syrup pools on pancake swap and that it would be a good and wonderful idea to use swap to do something similar. Yes, absolutely. But the thing is, pancake swap has an open listing for any token project as they wish. You just need to add the contract address, add some liquidity, and you're off to the races. You can go. And that's why you're seeing so many rug pulls, so many scams, so many flash loan attacks, because they don't actually have a clue of what they're doing. They're allowing anyone and everyone to go in and list their tokens. And guess what? The only thing that they need to do to do so is give PancakeSwap a certain percentage so that they can put up the syrup pools. Those syrup pools doesn't give them anything. Uh, what we're doing through the IDO platform, the real launching of real projects, we're giving you guys farming UME free entry because it basically is free entry. The UME that you've been farming is free. You're not paying for it. You're just providing liquidity for a certain amount of time and you're getting it for free. That means you get free access to every single IDO that we will conduct on Uswap. Free access to all of these projects that have the upper, they have the possibility to do 2x, 10x, 100x, 1000x. You never know which of these token projects will take off. But what I do know is that you, all of you, have the ability to participate in each and every single one of them simply by having you and me. And every time a new project is launched through Uswap, Guess what? The circulating supply of UME will decrease because of the burning. The availability of UME will be less, which means that when the next IDO comes and people need to buy more UME so that they can participate in it, the price will go up faster. Look at this long term. I had someone, we, we posted out that we burned 50,000 UME today and we had a comment, well, no reflection in the price. <laughs> Sorry, but it, it, uh. It is not like you, you light a match, you put it on your finger and you get an instant reaction, you burn yourself. That's not how burning of tokens work. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But the long term, when you burn, we burn 50,000 tokens today, which took 50,000 you and me out of the circulating supply, which is available on the market for people to buy, which means that the price impact when people are buying you and me right now is probably 0.2% more than what it was earlier. For each time we burn you and me, the price impact when people are buying will be higher. So eventually at the end, we can maybe see that buying one UME is too expensive. You might have to buy 0 0.5, 0 0.2, 0 0.1 UME, but it takes time to get there. It doesn't really happen overnight. What we need is organic growth, word to word organic growth, not all of these paid shillers that are just pushing people into groups so it looks like there's a ton of people there and everybody's active and blah 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 no that's not the way it works uswap 
has from day one work, working organically. We have been focusing on education. We've been focusing on having uh, a, a knowledgeable, informed community so that they can take the right decisions and that they can act accordingly to that. And also so that they can easily share this amazing ecosystem that we have developed because there is nothing out there like it. Not on the Ethereum network, not on the Binance Smart Chain network, not on the Tron network, except us. We are the only ones. You guys are the only ones. So let's take this and make it to what it's supposed to become. The biggest, baddest, best ecosystem in the world where everyone and anyone can come in, profit, learn, earn, and just feel content about being a part of a community that is supportive, positive, and bringing good energy to each other. <coughs> All right, uh, next here, from Guillermo here. <coughs> Uh, yes, strategic execution is the key, so you so can become the best decks. Thank you for creating all these opportunities to make math. Uh, I look at my math book and calculator to add up all the gains. Uh, awesome there, Guillermo. Thank you so much. Do you want to come on for two seconds? Maybe just say a couple of words to the, to the community? Yes, yes. Um, this is a great. Um, thank you so much for having me on. You know, I do appreciate, you know, the support and um, all these programs that you create. And, you know, it does take a little bit of math to figure them out, which is very, very important. But the thing is, that is what DeFi is. You know, people are becoming smarter. The, the industry has been evolving. This is not how it was many, many years ago where you just buy a coin and it shoots up. Now we have DeFi. So the things is, you know, it got a little bit more difficult, but this is where the money is now in DeFi. So we have to get up to speed with our math, yes. with learning a little bit more stuff. You know, there's a lot of books on DeFi that are out there. And it's important, you know, that people are educated because yeah, if, if you're not able to calculate the price of a token, you know, that's not a good thing. You know, you should be able to figure out, okay, I came in at this amount and if I do this, it's going to give me this. So there's a lot of calculations and stuff that, you know, people do need to do before they go ahead and they enter projects and yep. then they'll be able to see and then they won't be confused about prices or anything like that. So it's very, very important to just be educated and learn about this stuff because you have given us a lot of ways and a lot of opportunities to make money here in DeFi. Just for example, with the, the new token that is coming out, the corn one, I was surprised when I was looking at it and all the multiple different ways that you can make money, but I don't see any corn. I don't see people asking me that. I just see people, you know, asking all these other questions, but they should be asking, okay, Guillermo, I want to earn seven different ways from the corn token. How do I do it? I want to get in step one and step two, three, four, five, and six. And if you got like seven or eight different ways to make money on one corn token, then, you know, you're not going to run into problems such as, okay, the price went down or the fluctuations in the price because you're getting paid, you know, multiple different ways. So it's just a point for everybody to just really take the time to understand how all of this works, decisions, whether you want to buy or sell, you, you want to farm, you want to buy the chickens, you know, you want to feed them corn. I'm pretty much very interested in getting into the, the popcorn machine. I want to go ahead and, and figure that out because that's like an EF pool with the EFT token. But, you know, these are an IDO launch, so I'm very interested to get into that. So I just want everybody to just also, you know, ask more questions and just ask us, you know, how can we make more money with Uswap? And, you know, we'll, we'll be able to provide the answers to everybody to those types of questions. Sorry, I was muted. Yeah, that's absolutely, that's so, it's so correct what you're saying, you know, because it's all about information. It's all about, you know, educating yourself, doing some numbers, doing some math, understanding this on a DeFi, understanding the new concept of DeFi, because it ain't going anywhere. It ain't going anywhere. It is the future. We are finally figuring out how we can put real life services onto the blockchain where we can cut out the middleman, where we are now in, power, in control of the, the money. And that is what drives people towards DeFi. Uh, and yeah, I mean, you need to take that time to educate yourself. And as you said, if you have questions, we are here. Guillermo is here. Shanet is here. Hell is here. Ron is here. You know, I, I can't even start mentioning names because I'm going to leave someone out. There's so many of us that are so skilled and so highly educated on what we do that there is no reason for anyone not to feel comfortable asking a question. The only thing is that there's different ways of asking questions. You can ask, do you mean price is down? Why is it like this? Or you can ask, is there something going on with you and me? Has anything happened? I see that uh, the price is fluctuating a little bit. Uh, what, what is the next step? You know, these are two very different ways of asking the same question, but I can guarantee you on the first one, you'll get, you'll get, the, you'll get the finger. On the second one, you'll get a good, nice reply that will educate you to understand why it has dropped or why it increased. So 
absolutely guys if you have questions use us utilize us in the group utilize these zoom calls uh, the, the q a we will have dedicated q a or, or amas uh, where, where we will only be questions as well uh, and we will go move forward for that because it is the most important thing ever for having uh having success in a project that is knowledge the information about it because the more you know the more confident you become and the more confident because you become the more easier you can speak with others it's like um uh oh, i want to come up with a really really cool example here now but i <laughs> kind of drained my skull a little bit let's move on to the next question instead uh let me see here so okay um where were we we were at yes there we are uh how much corn to feed one chicken? Uh, we do not know how much corn to feed one chicken yet. Uh, that is why the feeding of the, so the the, chi the feeding of the chicken using corn will be implemented and starting in approximately seven to ten days. We need to rewrite the contract. We need to get all the data from the old over to the new. Then we need to put in the new features and new models modules so that we can change the price of the TRX so that we can feed with corn, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and then we will launch it. And at that time, in seven to ten days. The corn token will have been able to have its spikes, its ups, its downs, its lows, its highs, and you know, stabilize so gradually. And at that time, we can say it's going to be one corn to feed a chicken, it's going to be three corn to feed a chicken, it's going to be point one corn to feed a chicken, all based on the price of the corn itself. Uh, next IDO, burn a hundred thousand you and me. <laughs> yes, so uh, talking about this, uh, we are coming up with a new IDO, it will be coming up uh, next week uh, the IDO will not be coming up next week the announcement of the IDO will be coming up next week uh, and <clears throat> i can't really say right now how much how much will be raised uh, but it will be a higher amount than what has been raised in these previous three IDOs coming from us uh, these uh, token projects has a lot uh, or a highest total supply uh, so depending on what listing price they want to go out with that will also determine how much we need to raise so, but I am looking to raise, you know, for the next IDO, we're looking to raise 200,000, 250,000, maybe even 300,000 you and me, because we do see that the demand is there. So why not give it to them? And if we raise 300,000, well, 150,000 you and me gets burned right away. Well, 150,000 you and me is saved and locked for liquidity for that specific project. That is also very important to understand that any third party IDO will not have any opportunity to remove liquidity or, or do rug pulls or stuff like that because we the use swap team will require that it is or it will be mandatory that we the use swap team will be the ones that are controlling both the liquidity and the tokens to be farmed the project developers will of course say to us we want that much farming to go out daily da, 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 or etc cetera, etc cetera, but we will be the ones controlling the tokens so that they don't just suddenly run away or do anything else because <laughs> even though we can vet and assess a project that way you know uh, when when they have access to liquidity that liquidity can be removed when we take control of that liquidity and add it as locked liquidity there's no possible way for that to happen and that is where the safe dex protocol comes in and which kind of guarantees a safe and secure environment for all of the users we have <clears throat> awesome meeting address keep it up thank you so much my friend love your uh, love your engagement you know there's there's so much uh, you're doing so much for the community you're asking tough questions you're doing this you're doing that i love that as well because you know if if you see me uncomfortable uh, you know replying to 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 tough questions or or an awkward question or some of that that means something's wrong as long as i'm as relaxed and good as i am now you know that we are on the right path right thumbs up for that one <laughs> Okay, guys, so I don't see any more questions coming in. Uh, so with that, we've been on for an hour, 10 minutes. Thank you so much, everybody, for being on the call. I love you all. I love the commitment that you're showing. Uh, I love your questions. I, I love everything about this community. You know, when I wake up this wake up every morning, uh, it's a joy going into the group. It's a joy reading through 300, 500, 700 messages because 70 to 80% of it, it, it it's, it's just positive energy. And you know, waking up and getting that much positive energy it just fuels your day and it will make you do more. So once more, thank you so much, guys. If there was any questions that we did not respond to, let's take them back into the chat room. Let's get educated. Let's help everyone else to get educated as well. This video will go up. Have a nice day. Love the weekend. Enjoy the day. Bye-bye, guys. Cheers.